This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Busted Tees. Today, we're checking out another As Seen on TV product. It's the Fushigi Ball. to be mesmerized. It's here. It's wild. It's sweeping the nation. It's Fushigi! Fushigi. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's the coolest thing ever, and I can do it. Hi, I'm Tim Goey, and this is Fushigi. We're going to show you how to unlock the secrets of Fushigi, the magic gravity ball. No strings, no tricks. Magic? Maybe. An illusion? You decide. You can make Fushigi defy gravity and appear to float in midair. So today on As Seen on TV, we are going to check out an item that really piqued my interest. Um, it is called the Fushigi Magic Gravity Defying Ball. Now, so let's read some of the claims on the box. It's magic and gravity Amazing, defying. Amazing, <laughs> mysterious, mind-blowing, mesmerizing, magical. No strings, no tricks. Just simple hand manipulation will make Fushigi appear to float and defy gravity. I am well, listen, so let's scared. Well, listen, listen to this, uh, this claim here. Fushigi is mesmerizing. It is magical. It is simply amazing and even stress relieving. From the minute you pick it up, for the first time, you will be engaged and determined to unlock the mystery through motion manipulation and truly make Fushigi defy gravity and appear to actually float in midair. Now, so that's the is, claim that we should here's my to put scare. to the test. Here's my scare. When I saw this on TV, I thought to myself, one, I want to do that. <laughs> Two, this is what David Bowie did in Labyrinth. <laughs> Three, I've tried to do what David Bowie did in Labyrinth and cannot do that. Guys, so, and I, I thought, but this, it makes it easy. So there, I, the thing that I think is that supposedly there is something in here that will make it easier to do those things. So then there, there, I read the box. There is a warning. Warning. Fushigi is addictive and mind blowing. <laughs> is that a box no. of World of Warcraft? Warning. What is that? <laughs> Warning. I have to say, oh, I, see it. I have to say, I, see it. I may not have picked this up if I had read all that. <laughs> because what I saw was magic gravity ball. You see right here in the picture, the ball is not touching hit the fingers. There's air between them. And it says, make it float. And you need to read the entire box. Half there. of me thought, that's impossible. I know, the other that, I know that this Shut is, up, Dan. I know that this is trying to hoodwink me into believing something that isn't true. The other half of me went, but what if it is true? Yeah, well, it does come it. with a free DVD. So we're gonna check out the DVD. Let's check out the DVD. I'm gonna put the DVD in the 360 here. It's 15 minutes. Oh, we got a power glove here. Oh, no, we guys, got guys, power. guys. The supplementary material. Attention. Yeah. Fushigi is an amazing skill toy. However, Fushigi will not float on its own. Please watch the introduction to Fushigi and all of its wonders on the DVD enclosed. Please take great care when storing you Fushigi. Do you, Here wait, we go. Hold on. Do you guys want to know the I'm secret of Fushigi it. that I've just encountered right now? It's surrounded by glass or plex or whatever plastic. Plastic. So yes, you are not touching the metal ball, but you are touching the uh, like these no, fingers. No, I think you're supposed, these, to, you're supposed to roll it and shit, Dan. <clears throat> it's. No, I know, but it's, uh, it's, it's like it, the thing that you did. Wait a minute, it appears that no. the ball is floating. I thought it, I I thought it was it. a ball in the middle that was spinning inside and that thus made what? it look like it was moving. Let's How about we DVD. just watch an introduction to the... Holy oh my, shit. play the entire video. Now each Bushigi <gasps> is hand polished, it's so that funny. every Bushigi is unique to itself. You may notice slight variations from one to another, but you don't <laughs> want to damage tile, hardwood floor, or especially Thank your you. Bushigi. This is a skill oh. art, and it does take some practice, time, and dedication to honing your skills and abilities. Hello, and welcome to the Fushigi Training DVD. I'm the amazing Kenny, and I'll be teaching you to master the art. <laughs> I, I would have guessed that. Your Fushigi <laughs> does not, in Kenny. fact, float on its own. It's a magic ball because it capitalizes. Then why do you say it's going to float on its own? Flotation. It doesn't just make it float. With simple motions. There's three categories Dan, that we're gonna We're five minutes into the video. How happy you are, are you that you bought this? Not very. 
and rolls and bombs into multiple spheres at once. Oh, amazing! He's got a leather pouch. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He has a satchel. Oh, he's got now, the balls in there. Is being able to keep the ball stationary in one point and doing other things with your hands. Now, right now, I'm holding a ball. Now, I'm doing magic. <laughs> You're not doing magic. The simple way to learn this is to hold it in front of your body, move your hand up in front of the sphere, slide down the side. Oh, you're doing it. This to the beginning. Am I doing it? You're doing it. I was doing it? You're doing it. Keep going. Keep going. And twist. Dan, you're doing it. You may want to watch the ball closely as you try this. You watch the ball closely. Make sure that it's staying still. Get ready. Start with the ball in one of your hands, put the other hand on top, thumb and point your finger up. Go pointer. That's position, a middle pointer. Then switch with thumb and pointer fingers no. on it yeah. and roll back down. That's right where we started. So then you do it again. First going up in the front and then down. Up, thumb, and what? fingers. What? <laughs> That's right where we started. So then you do it again. First going up in the front and then down. Are we having fun yet, guys? <laughs> up, thumb, and hey, that looked kind of cool. Hey! Wait! Bit. Now, as long as you're keeping pressure, then the ball will be stuck there. A lot of you look just like David Bowie right, right now. Oh, you're not David Bowie anymore. Oh, oh, it's happening. Oh, you just gotta do is put some stank on it. And you just flip the ball over. Take one hand away. That actually looks good. And then I'm gonna roll it down my fingers. The very tips of my fingers makes it easier to see for the audience. Back to this fist and repeat. Slide across the fingers. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you might want to take some time developing that feel, because the ball is going to pass directly from one hand to the other. Developing the feel. <laughs> you can also stop it halfway oh. on the tips of your fingers Holy. for a prayer hold. Whoa. Let's go to the oh, I almost had it. Let's go, let's almost go to had the, it. Uh, the wiper. Almost had it. And try and go back. Oh, I did it! It may take a little practice. The problem is, you could learn all this shit with a, a ball that is much safer. Yeah. You could work up to this for your performance, <laughs> but you could work work with like a lacrosse ball. Yeah, yeah. And then it, if it bounces, it's no problem. It doesn't land on furniture and destroy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A palm spin. Or even an ice cream cone. What up, dude? I'm like totally widget wiping. Where's the fushigi ball? <laughs> it's on the floor, as usual. The big problem I have was, I. the funny thing is, of all the products that we've now done on the show, this is, I think, the most false advertised. Because it doesn't ever say, this it's, is a juggling skill right. thing. It, it just <laughs> says, the ball makes it so easy. And they have people on the street who are like, oh my god, it's so easy, it just sort of moves, the, and I don't have to words, do anything. The words, very carefully chosen words. Oh, most definitely. If I saw people on the street who were like, anybody can do this, you should try it, and they hand it to random people, and they start going, hey, this is actually pretty easy. And did it's they do like that in the commercial? Oh, 100%, commercial. 100%. Yeah, I didn't see the commercial. Yeah, they go like this. He goes, look, it's a fushigi. And they, it's like people grab it, and they go, wow, yeah, look, it's so easy. It's like, looks like it's floating. And it's like, I mean, those, are, spent, those are magicians. If we spent or several hours working with this thing, we could yeah. come up with some cool looking stuff. Yeah. Sure. But none of the stuff we could come up with, I think, would be as cool as a simple juggling routine. This is really this is really the equivalent Next. of buying like a kid's starter magic kit. Yeah. Where it's like, it's easy, you can do the magic trick. Well, no, but you still have to learn the magic trick. Yeah, and you're, trick. Yeah. And you're like, oh wow, there's all these like the cups in the bottom. Yeah, and there's like every, a step yeah, by step. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch, watch, I'm gonna come back next Dude, week. Dude, bring it! I wanna be mesmerized, Dan. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah mesmerized. I'll call Danny Bowie. Uh, as seen on TV, Fushigi. Well, here's the thing. The, it's a if you have no desire to become a contact professional contact juggler. No, even if, if you, you want to become one, it's a good crappy. performance piece. It's still a good performance piece. If you work up to the need yeah, for it, that's what it is. Sure, but Violet this is not. Ball. Hey, I want to learn how to do this. I should buy that. You don't learn on that. Oh, you learn no, on I something mean, that's safer. There's something about immediate the gratification of it really does. A tennis ball wouldn't wouldn't really create that effect. Yeah, but you would never. Illusion. You can't learn it's with true. that because it causes damage to stuff. This is definitely, of all the ones that we've seen so far, the biggest a pass. Fail. Which, yeah. by the way, is weird because we've, we've done some weird crap on the show. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I don't know. Shake weight was also a pass. Yeah, I mean, shake weight was a pass. You know what? This is about a just as, nah. 
Nah. Jokey a gift or no, something? Nah, not even. Joking. There's not even any value that way. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> the towel. <laughs> Remember everybody to stick around for this day in rad history, but first let's talk about our sponsors. Daniel, nice shirt. Thank you. It's a busted tea. We're sponsored by busted teas. So busted tea <laughs> started uh, way back in 2004 mm -hmm. by the college humor guys who are people, I, I adore college humor, mm. all things college humor. And I've been wearing busted teas since way back in 2004. Yep. And, uh, and, you know, I'm in the movie, so I like all the movie gags, like this one. Yeah. Um, but there are plenty, I mean, literally, they have geography jokes, politics jokes, uh, movies, TVs, all that stuff are, are uh, uh, irreverently cited, or sometimes reverently yeah. cited, on a Busted Tees shirt. I they're love all it. I love made, a good geography joke. They're, yeah. they're all sweatshop-free, and um, actually, it's funny, I think we just talked about the um, Oregon Trail shirt that I wore when I first met you, yes. I believe, as a Busted Tee. Interesting. Um, so uh, you, you also, you also may have seen some of the shirts in, in movies and TV shows, like Knocked Up it was in, and, and Scrubs as a, yep. as a TV show that featured, featured Busted Tees. So head over to BustedTees.com, put in a rad show in the promo code. Nice. You'll get 10% off of your Ooh. order. Very nice. Well, thank you very much, Dan Trachtenberg. We will see you tomorrow. Check out tomorrow's show where we discuss what else is on our radar. Today is January 11th. And on this Ooh. day in rad history, in 1936. That's a long time ago. Audioscopics, MGM's first short film shot in 3D premiered. So not, not the first 3D, the first 3D movie mm -hmm. was in 1922. But this was MGM's first 3D film and it was nominated for an Academy Award. Do you know what that movie was about? It was about this guy was, who could like plug in and become an alien creature on a different world. Uh, it, I'm pretty sure that's what it, it was. It, interestingly, it was actually a documentary about 3D it was stuff. At very and it just had like umbrellas. Avant garde. It was just <laughs> umbrellas opening and things coming at you. And like, it's, it's just amazing how far we've come. Yet at the same time, yeah, it's yeah. amazing that this was around almost since inception. In 1922, the first 3D thing? I mean, like. 3D has been a lot around. Since Inception. Yeah, it was, it's been around since the movie Inception, which since was the, the first. the inception of, you know, film movies. Yeah. You know? Dude, love it. 3D, baby. Oh, and Stacy Votel. So it's by right. at Stacy Votel. Stacy Votel. Stacy Votel. Recurring job. Stacy Votel. Hopefully you've seen these. <laughs>